Hi, welcome back. I'm Chuck and today I'm going to show you how I made this custom writing desk. Ever since I made the desk out of crib parts for my friend's daughter Kylie, my daughter has been asking me to put a desk in her room. We are going to make a desk that fits right in here. It's going to be kind of like a writing desk. So let's get to it. For this project, I'm going to go ahead and cut all the pieces for the base first. I'm going to make the legs and the stretchers out of 2x2 two two and the apron out of 1x4. I'm going to do this at my miter saw station where I have a stop block system, so I get a repeatable cut. Therefore, all the legs and the stretchers and the apron pieces are all going to be exactly the same length. I have all the pieces cut here for the base and I'm going to go ahead and put all the pocket holes in them with the pocket hole machine. I made the mistake before of starting assembling a project and not having all the pocket holes. You can put them in after you start assembling. It's easier to do everything beforehand and that's what we're going to do. Let me take a minute to tell you about this video's sponsor, and it is... Dad, really? Yeah, that's what all the cool channels do. Exactly, just make your stuff. Okay, well, if you're not already subscribed, hit subscribe, and give me a thumbs up for this video. We are going to connect the base using pocket screws. There's the base. Good job. Now we need to make the top and the drawer. Next step in this project is to make the drawers and I'm going to cut them out of a one by three at the miter saw and put them together with pocket screws. the sides and the front and the back of the drawer cut out and now we are going to connect them with pocket screws. For the drawer front I'm going to use a 1x4. I'm going to cut that to size on the table saw using the crosscut sled. I'm going to connect the drawer bottom to the drawer with wood glue and brad nails. We're going to cut the top out of three quarter inch plywood. I believe this is maple. So I am going to clamp a straight edge using my drywall square here and cut the end off and then we'll measure it to cut it to size. I 
clamp my straight edge to make the cut for 39 inches. And I put down some painter's tape that helps the splintering of the plywood. We're gonna go ahead and cut this to length. We're gonna trim this with one by twos. And since this is only three quarters uh, plywood, I'm gonna put these little spacers on the edge so we have something to glue and screw or glue and nail the one by twos to. I don't want to have to sand this a lot because it's plywood and I don't want to sand through the plies. So I'm going to minimize the amount of glue towards the top. I'm going to use uh, some wipe on Danish oil, dark walnut, for the finish. Or pour on. Now I'm going to attach the top using pocket screws, which are my favorite. So I have these spacers and I need to put an apron to make them flush with the legs so we can uh, install the drawer slides. Now we're going to install the drawer slides. So I clamp this two by two right here, just at the bottom of the apron sit the drawer slide on. I'm going to screw it in, the part that attaches to the apron. Then I'll detach the part that goes on the drawer, screw it on the drawer, push the drawer in. We're installing the drawer handles, and I'm going to do that by using this Craig jig here. We're super happy with how this turned out. I like the white paint with the wood uh, contrast on the top, and I like how the gold hardware stands out on the white, and she picked some gold accessories here too. And it looks great in her room, and uh, yeah, we're just really happy with the projects. So I have some more projects for you to check out over here, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Assemble a piece of something to start an assembly of a project before the before before before. Give me a thumbs up and hit. <laughs> <laughs>